I bet. Yo, what's good? It's human. Damien is bitch lit. Damn. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, what is good? It's uh, the official Westman back with Aaron Brown, my homie, and then my other homie, Senator Janoop, man. If you guys aren't familiar, I've had this guy in several videos, even recorded a, a song with him. The first video on my YouTube channel, this guy was on right now. That was the last time I seen him, so it's been a minute, bro. It was good, bro. Good. Blacker than ever. <laughs> yeah, basically, we're just filming a mini podcast because of childhood friend with a new friend. Thanks. Both of them popping on social media. But yeah, let me just start off by saying, how was your day today? It was cool. It was chill. Didn't really do much. Just chilling like I usually do. Okay. What about you, bro? Same exact thing. All right. Let's get more juicy stuff. When's the last time you guys had sex? Two weeks ago. <laughs> Two weeks ago? <laughs> Man, like last February. Damn, okay. That's a little before when I had last I had, I had sex. Swear to God, bro, it's been a minute, but hey. You gotta save it for who's right, right? Nah, that's facts. That's facts, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck, I haven't done this podcast shit in a minute, bro. I'm rusty right now. I'm rusty. I'm rusty, man. If you guys haven't been a long-term subscriber, which are probably a lot of you guys haven't, um, I used this channel that it's on right now. It used to be a podcast, but uh, I flipped this. I flipped the switch because you know things just didn't work out. But um, what's your guys' like dream job? I'll, I'll always start off with Aaron. But what's your like dream job? <laughs> dream job is crazy. There is no like I'm gonna say occupation that I could just like yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. So um, I'm not sure honestly. I know you getting money, like getting money is your main job right now, but yeah, like getting money is cool. But I feel like when you say job, I'm thinking like more occupation based, and there's like not a occupation that I could just. I mean, there's probably something out there that I would enjoy doing. I just type shit haven't came across it, or not that I haven't came across it. I just haven't experienced it yet, so I I'm not really sure. How long are you gonna keep this trolling shit up? For the rest of my life. The rest of your life? Yeah. Say less. I like I like that answer. What about you, bro? What's your dream job? Because I know you've been focusing a lot on like TikTok and social media, but I know, I know what, I know what, I think I know what you're gonna say, but I'm gonna let you say it, you know? So my dream job is to get into the acting industry. Yeah. You know, it's not a lot of South Sudanese in industry, so I'm trying to be one of the first to make it big. Type so, shit. More specifically, voice acting. But voice acting, okay. Regular acting, any any type of acting. You'd you know? be good at you'd be good at either, bro. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If for anyone who don't know, what are you guys doing right now as a job? I mean, I'm a full time student right now, so I don't really do anything as a job. I mean, I make um, content online. This road motherfucker said. If that counts, but other than that, that's really it. Yeah. What about you? Yes. I mean, same same exact thing. Full time student, but really concentrating on TikTok. I mean, it's really a side. I mean, it is really like a side job. Yeah. Bro, I literally just got you signed up today for the creator fund. This for dude real. has 180K on TikTok and was never on the creator fund. Damn. That That's is crazy. insane. I guess I haven't even been talking about myself, to be honest. Yeah, what do you want to do for a job? Dream job, bro. Honestly, I was kind of in the same. I don't know. I don't know specifically what I want to be, mm. but there's a lot of things that I would enjoy doing, like acting. I love, I think I'd be an amazing actor. I think I'd be by far one of the best actors. You're pretty good at acting. You're pretty fucking good at acting. I don't know, bro. bro I'd be locked in, I'm not gonna lie. That was funny. I mean, I already seen this dude act. This dude makes skits all the time. This guy's yeah. already got it locked down. But um, yeah, I don't know. I do, I love the acting. I love the try acting. Um, obviously, YouTuber is my main focus right now. I mean, I honestly don't know. YouTube, bro, being a content creator, making money, that's about it. No nah, facts. What am I doing right now? YouTube, TikTok, every plat, every social media I'm doing right now, but I haven't really made enough to where I can make a living off of it. So currently I am working a job. Low key, bro, what is uh your track season goals? Um, uh, my track season goals is to troll as much as I can, make as many people mad as I can, um, uh, make as many people know me as I can. 
I mean, in track, pretty much. I'm not going to say everybody knows me, but a large amount of people. Like, the people who matter knows me. So, just um, getting to know... I'm not going to say getting to know more people, but just getting more people to know me if they don't already know me. And just getting people you know, like to just tune in and watch me because the more they watch, the more I get paid. So, Would you say, like, a big focus for you is getting people who aren't who don't watch track to watch track no i mean i don't care like it's it's never gonna happen because track is a boring sport yeah but i have a lot of people who don't watch track and they watch me yeah i'm not if they just said um oh i don't watch track but i watch you or yeah you're helping us watch i mean like bring more attention to track yeah like that really wouldn't move me like i don't care because you know, it's just one of those things. Like, track yeah. is one of those things. It's just a dead sport, honestly. They can watch all your videos and still not know what a 400 meter is. Right. But I'm just, like, so entertaining. They're intrigued by what I'm saying and what I'm doing. So, yeah. Yeah, because I got hella people. Like, I, there's people in the NFL. Like, they buy my merch and everything. Yeah. And, yeah, like, so. See, like, I was, I'm, like, literally one of those people because I was literally working my job. And I was just scrolling on TikTok because I was on break. And I see this dude pop up because I used to do track like in middle school. So I know like the basics. And um, so I was just scrolling and I see this dude just roasting people, bro. Trolling, roasting. And I was like, this dude's funny, funny as fuck. And then I, I liked the video. I liked the video. And then I went on his page and looked at a few more that were like popping. And I was like, okay, this is funny. All of a sudden he's all over my For You page after that because the algorithm does its thing. And uh, long story short, we're here now. Facts. Facts. Moving on to you. No one knows this. You do play football. Where at? Ottawa University. Ottawa University. Not the one in Kansas, the one in Arizona. The one in Arizona. A lot of people mix that up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you you be playing football there. You got redshirted this year? Yeah. Well, basically, kind of, well, kind of, yeah, basically, yeah. Basically redshirted. And then, what's your, what do you think your minutes are going to look like next year? Minutes. I have been really focused, really been going crazy in the gym. So I can't really say what the future is going to look like, but I know I'm going to do a lot better than I did last year. I feel that. Wait, what position do you play? I'm a, well, I play DB, but I'm a safety. Got the size for it. Yes, sir. For that position, yeah. Facts. I, I thought you was going to come out here and say some D-line shit. I'm like, bro, you're undersized. No, I played that in high school. It's, yeah. It's a fun position, but... I'm different competition. Yeah. Trying to get more action, so... No, you're definitely a great size for uh, a safety. Safety, even a corner. You got to get them hips moving. For real. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've just been yeah. strengthening my hips, strengthening everything in my legs. That's all. I mean, I'm still trying to get, you know, bigger, faster, Facts. and stronger, but... I'm mostly focusing on my legs because, you know. Facts. Who do you say you look up to as like a, a football player? As a football player, that's a really good question. Uh, I want to say, oh yeah, you know what? The seniors from last year or from last season. Yeah. Uh, his name is, I don't know his last name, but one of them's named Seth. Seth. One of, one of them is named, you know, it's one Khalil. There's Khalil. my teammate Khalil. There's many more too. But, Shout out Seth and Khalil. Nice. And the rest of the seniors, shout out. Yes, sir. But yeah, they put in the work. They go crazy there. You know, whenever I'm down, they're there to, you know, pick me up. And yeah. Me, yeah you know, That's like, dope. You still got, you know, you got a year, so, you know. That's just fire. Keep moving forward. And, and they taught you a lot and shit. Yeah. And For they sure. put in the work, too. So, like, they kind of inspire. Yeah. You know? Of course. Oh, yeah. And Corbin, too. Yeah. That's right. my boy. That's. What about, what about NFL players? NFL players. Do you even watch NFL like that? I do watch, I watch highlights. I don't watch full games because I, I never have the time to watch full games. Yeah. So I just watch highlights. But the Dolphins is my team. So I look at the safeties on the Dolphins. Yeah, if I'm being sure. If I'm being sure, I don't know the safeties on the Dolphins. Yes. I know Javon Holland, uh, Xavier Howard, um, Jalen Ramsey. Those are the DBs. Mm-hmm. But I don't know the safeties. I might, I might be a casual. I don't know. But um, who, who do you look up to in track? I don't look up to nobody. In yeah, track. you're your own person. I'm, like, I bro, knew that answer was track kinda, runners are losers. losers. I just kinda, like I track answers. runners <laughs> are losers, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, track is like one of those sports where I haven't ran as fast as no one 
Like, just say, like, Olympians. Yeah. I mean, there's Olympians who are praying faster than. Just, like, the top stars in the sport. How could I, like, not accomplish anything? Like, just say, just say, like, someone at your school playing football or someone at ASU playing football, someone at U of A playing football, who's just, like, in college playing football versus somebody, like, Vaughn Miller would never get on Instagram and argue back, back and forth with, like, yeah, just them. How am I like, arguing back and forth with the top people in track and I haven't accomplished anything in track? Tactical. Like, track runners are losers. Like, I don't look up to nobody <laughs> in track. <laughs> because how am I having these interactions with these people? As you said in your song, you can make 100K sitting sitting and trolling. Yeah, you know, facts. But it's paid. like, I'm, big, I'm bigger than the biggest people that run track, so. You get paid more than professional athletes, professional track athletes. Facts. Right now. Facts. Imagine. And it's like, bro, imagine training all your life. Like you working hard, you making Olympic teams, just for me to be at home making more money than you and me at home getting more attention than you. Like you did all this hard work just for me to get more attention than you. No cap. No cap. Like track runners are losers, bro. No allows got you though, right? No allows is rolled as fuck. <laughs> He's like top of the loser list type <laughs> shit. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, he's one of these guys I'm referring to. Like, every time he makes a post, there's hella people tagging me in the comments. No cap. I see it. Like, he's top of the loser list. They got world like, don't get me wrong. Bro, like, bro, <laughs> you went out and won three gold medals and you worried about what the N NBA people doing. Just, bro, chill. Like, they're making millions. Like, that's not you, bro. Like, exactly. Just, just worry about your three gold medals. Like, why would you take the attention away from all the hard work you put in to win these medals to go talk about something that don't got got to do with nothing? Yeah. The NBA, and if the USA want to form the best team they can, they would be every team. No, nah, I ain't gonna 90. lie. I'm not gonna lie. The NBA, um, when they go to the Olympics, they always win. Like. USA, yeah, they always win. Like, Ke like he was talking, like Noel Lyles was trying to argue back and forth with Kevin Durant. If you look Noel out, Noel Lyles up, it says he's an Olympic athlete. Kevin Durant has three Olympic gold medals. Exactly. Noel Lyles has zero. Exactly. It's like who's really a world champion? Because if you if you ask me, my opinion, the Olympics is the ultimate world championship competition. Exactly. And so. Well, Everyone was saying that like if you look if you look at the USA team, mm -hmm. it's a bunch of bums because Bro, they don't care who they put on no, it. That it's team was like anybody. that was like the FIBA games or whatever that shit was. It was that wasn't the shit that that it gets sent to the Olympics of the Olympics. Like none of those okay. guys would be on the Olympic team. That was that FIBA shit. And it was like, oh USA lost. Like Yeah. Bro, can you name like can you name more than five players on the USA team? I no. could name one. Exactly. But, but if you look if, at the Olympic you, team, to, we could easily put LeBron in there if they want. Bro, but if you look <laughs> at the Olympic team, it'd be like Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. Like they don't go and lose. Exactly. And then no lives has the audacity to say we're not basketball players on world champions. He's an idiot. Kevin Durant got three Olympic gold medals. No allows have zero. For the USA, at least, to win the uh, final championship is harder than winning the Olympics. <sighs> yeah, that's facts. Because I'm not going to lie. Well, even then, I, I, mean, can't, I, can't, necessarily, team, I can't necessarily say that. I mean, they, despite them having a super team, it's more of a chemistry thing. So, yeah, they don't really have that chemistry playing together. But... With at the Olympics, the team USA is playing against is probably like a, some European country yeah. that's full of NBA players as well. I'm just saying that the best the best team that plays the the USA in the finals would get beat by the best NBA team. Bro, no, because you don't think so. Bro, the thing is, just say like Jokic. Where's Jokic from? Sylvania, bro. Right, his know. like, bro. Their team will probably be like the final team, and like yeah. that team is full of NBA players. Like the best, the best NBA basketball player. Like you could say somebody like Giannis. You could say somebody like Jokic. They're not even from the United yeah, States. They're from Greece. So the best NBA players isn't even from the United but, States. I think that. Well, I think that's where you're wrong. I think the the best, like if you count them all up together, the best NBA players are from. No, I'm just States. saying like the best individual player. Right now, no. Like it's Giannis and Jokic and 
if you want to put LeBron in there, he's from the United States, but yeah, LeBron is I think it's not hooping, but I'm not gonna lie, Luca's better than LeBron right now. No cap. I'm Luke, not even I ain't gonna lie, Luca average forty is averaging forty points a game this season. But when it when it comes time for the finals, where is he at? Just just stay tuned. He playing with he playing with new players. Type shit. I I'll I'll, I'll wait. Where was LeBron at in the finals? He already has four. Bro, you talking about what he has before we was even born and shit like that. Like, <laughs> bro, he won like three years ago. Let's talk about current times. What, what happened to LeBron? <laughs> like, I, like I said, bro, Luka is better than LeBron right now. I disagree. I disagree. You're sick. Like I said, Luka's averaging 40 points a game. But put Luca on the same roster as LeBron. LeBron seems going further in the championship, in the in the final, in the uh, playoffs. And that's all. And winning is all that matters. I don't think so. Like LeBron, he plays for the Lakers, huh? Well, what I'm trying to say is the reason why I don't count championships as like a goat thing, because like if, if championships were a goat thing, Bill Russell would be the goat. Right. He's 11. But what I'm trying to say is that put him on the same roster. Every single player on the team is the same except for Luka and LeBron. LeBron's team is going further. That's cap. If you take if you take LeBron out of Dallas, I mean if you take Luka out of Dallas and put LeBron there, hell no. Well, because Luka's been there for so long. They, they but I'm just Luka, saying, like you just say, you just say if you take it, like LeBron's team will go first. Just imagine, like like put it this way, you know the, how the Pistons are super bad right now. Pistons are terrible. Right. Put LeBron on that team or put Luka on that team and get rid of LeBron. Put either of them as a star player on both the teams. LeBron's team's going further. Hell no. Yes. Fuck no. Yes. Bro, LeBron can't even score like Luka is scoring. They're going to be losing just like the Lakers losing. Hell no. Literally. Bro, you guys got you. the fucking Mavericks are stacked. Bro, we got Luka and Kyrie. That's stacked. AD is made of glass. Who else they got? Who else the Lakers got? Mm -hmm. I don't watch them losers. I don't, I don't watch basketball right now. They I genuinely suck. couldn't. They tell fucking you. suck because LeBron sucks. <laughs> this dude. Kyrie Irving. Wait, who's the goat with basketball? LeBron. Larry Bird. Mm -hmm. Larry Bird and Michael Jordan. Oh my God. Le Michael Jordan is not the goat. That's Cal. Right, LeBron. LeBron's Hell no. LeBron is easily the go. It's not even close. In my opinion, it's not even close. Michael Jordan is Actually, like. What's your top five all time? Me right now? Yeah. LeBron won. Why is LeBron's team 11th in the conference? If, he, if he's so of, good. It's the beginning of the season. Bro, they lost to the Pelicans by 20 points. Pelicans are in a hot streak right now. They lost to Miami. Miami just went to the finals. They just lost to the Grizzlies. They got job back. Bro, they just lost like five games in a row. The Timberwolves. The Timberwolves are, are tough. Yeah, they're probably one of the best teams right now. Oh, they're, they're like number one in the West, I think. Bro, they fucking suck. Where, what is LeBron doing? <laughs> this dude. They haven't won no damn games. All right, LeBron won. MJ two. Man, Michael Jordan would never do this pull this shit. LeBron is pulling. He'd do worse. No. Yes. LeBron is washed and he needs to retire. If Le if MJ was on LeBron's situation, MJ would have been had 10 different teams. He would have left. Bro, that's team. the thing. Jordan would never do no shit like that. Yes, like, he would, bro. Bro, he wouldn't try to stick around till he's 60 years old. Like, bro, if you can't play it. At a at a level to where you could go win a championship, what's the point of just sticking around? Like I feel like that hurts like your legacy. Like you, yeah. Like with Muhammad Ali, when he was like out of his prime and he just couldn't fight the way he wanted to, but he had to like stay around and fight for the money. Like he was getting knocked out and shit like that. Yeah. Like same thing with Mike Tyson. That's the same thing with like LeBron. LeBron's getting knocked out right now. Like they punching him in his head, and he but can't, he's still averaging. He can't move out the way. He's still doing. Fuck, he's averaging. His team is eleventh in the Western Conference. I mean, but he's still competing. He's still competing like, for what? He's still he's like, like right now they're competing for a playoff spot. If they true. get one, would they take twelve? 
and they're eleventh. And they just lost the last five. Let me see. They take eight in the finals. Oh, they're in the playoffs. Forget about it. You like know, they, I think they took they take twelve if you count the playing games, but playing games are playing games. Yeah, that shit. Ugly. That playing shit's stupid. I like the in season tournament, but the playing shit is retarded. So you mean to tell me the goat? <laughs> struggling to even make the playoffs. He's the goat, bro. The goat. He's thirty nine. The goat of going home. He's thirty nine. That's the thing, though, bro. If you gotta make all these excuses for bro. He's the GOAT, bro. He should, he should be able to make a way. He's better than everybody. He's way better than everybody. Facts. That's what GOATs are. Facts. Like, Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt was way better than everybody. But he retired at a perfect time. Usain Bolt, he retired when he was 30. 30? He went four when he was 18. So, say he, say he kept say he kept racing, he would have easily lost. He, he retired you, at the perfect time. You could what if all day long. Why didn't LeBron retire at the party? Because he time? loves the game. He loves that game. Right, he should love it enough to hang that shit up. I mean, he did already break the record. There's no... Well, I mean, he's still got to play with his son, though. His son's coming to the league next year. Bronny sucks. But they're still going to draft him because it's LeBron. I don't think they are. I think for sure. He's going to be like... Are. He's going to be like first pick in the draft. Did, because you see, did you see like his first game at USC? Like, like, I, that nigga's not getting drafted. I ain't gonna lie. I think I low key next year. I don't know about next year, bro. bro. I ain't gonna lie. I think low key I will get drafted before that nigga gets drafted. You guys are crazy though, because LeBron said he's going to whatever team he goes to. He's not going to no team. He's going to the G League. Nah. So if LeBron's gonna open G League, that motherfucker, then maybe so. But I mean, the way LeBron is playing, he belongs to the G League. LeBron, mark my words, Bronny is going to get drafted. That's crazy. Next year? Bronny's no. going to get drafted no. next year. Hell no. One of the top Hell 10 no. picks. Bro, he don't even start at USC. One of the top 10 picks, and he's going to be on an top NBA roster. Top 10 is crazy. But by next year? Next year. He doesn't even play. And I'm not saying that because he's good at basketball. I'm saying that because LeBron purposes. Bro, bro. Oh, like bro, not even. He's not even good. I mean, he's 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 good. Like he's a, He was a good high school he's not player. A, he's not an NBA hooper. Hell no. He's Fuck not even a college hooper. And I can agree with that statement, but it's just because LeBron purposes. Bro, they not doing it, bro. And plus, bro got heart problems and all types of shit. Like, he, he, they not taking a risk with his ass. But I could see LeBron retiring before he comes to the league just to, like... Bro, he's not just, coming to no league, bro. Just to give, like, him that legacy. Bro, if Bronny goes to the NBA... Bro, he's a freshman. It don't matter. Like, LaMelo then was freshman type shit, like... You but know, the, but you was know, a starter. Bro, but that's what I'm saying. You know, those are the type of people that be getting drafted. Like, you know, there's people who top like, and shit like that. you know, there's people who like didn't even play freshman year of college who may, who are like starting in the NBA right now. But did they start their sophomore year? Probably, or not even start. They probably got off the bench sophomore year. So, like, if Bronny gets off the bench his sophomore year, how's he just up and about to get drafted? I mean, I would say LeBron purposes, but if he's retired, I mean, I don't if he LeBron if LeBron retires LeBron. before Bronny gets a league, Bronny might not touch an NBA court. Bronny's not going to the league. But if LeBron's not retiring, then Bronny will be a top. LeBron 10 player. can play in the NBA for like the next twelve years. Bronny won't be there. Yes, he will. I Dude, that's the won't. that's the craziest statement I've ever heard in my life. Bro, I, <laughs> I, like that's I know crazy. people who like started, like. Went to the tournament like um in college, and they're in the G League type shit. Well, yeah, Bronny ain't going to the league, bro. Well, there, there's there's <laughs> Bronny's not going to the league. He's not good. There's there's and he players play. and he has heart problems. He plays a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your five goats of basketball? The Mount Rushmore plus one. All right, I'm going to get out to Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, hmm, my boy Dirk, and Allen Iverson. I'd say my top five, LeBron one, MJ two. Who we putting at three? Kareem. Magic is probably five. Um, yeah, why you just up and skip four and just automatically put on okay, cause, five? Because I know, I know Magic not four. I want to put Wilt so bad. But his time frame was so old. Like I know, if, mark my words, bro. If 
If Wilt was in the league right now, he'd be just as good as fucking Clint Capella. Who the, the fuck league, is that? The league has evolved so much that it's so much different. He Bro, but just, you can't you can't compare like you can't compare like that. You just have to compare him and his era. Well, I mean, his era looks like top three. That's so, what I'm saying. So like Wilt Ford, I guess. So I got I got LeBron, MJ, Kareem, Wilt, Magic. That's my top five. What you got, big dog? What's that black big dick doing over there? Ain't no way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ain't no way. All right, so I got uh, number one, LeBron. Number two, MJ. Number three, Kareem. Number four, Bird. Number five, uh, Magic. No Wilt. I put Wilt uh, over LeBron. You said Wilt over LeBron. Oh yeah, I got me fucked up. I'm putting, I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting Steph Curry over LeBron. I ain't like that boy. Steph changed the game. Shooting that bitch the way he shoots that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Steph is better than LeBron. <laughs> As fuck. Why? I mean, LeBron just been playing for a long time. But most of those years been like mediocre ass years anyways. But yeah, that boy Steph. Holy. Bro, oh letting that bitch fly from the logo. Oh my God. Hell no, nah, LeBron ain't even top. He damn near not even top 10. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you know who's cold as fuck? Like, really, the best player in the league is KD. He's just on the ass team. And he's like low key watching them, but KD is better than LeBron. KD's prime is crazy. Bro, KD is like, KD is better than LeBron. I just never would like, I'll never like KD for what he did to the Oklahoma. Man, fuck oh, I used to be my team back then. Bro, Oklahoma the, was my team back then. Bro, KD was one of, one of them ones, bro. Then he dropped the shoes, bro. The KD sixes KD's and sevens. KD's are so tough. <laughs> KD is like, the basketball shoes. So bro, bro, cause bro. like you ever nobody ever went to the store like, hey, let me get those new Lebrons. Hey, I like Lebrons. They're what heavy. the fuck? They're comfy though. I mean, just like playing basketball in or something, or you was just wearing them just to wear them. No, 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 no. I would never wear basketball shoes just to wear them. I always wear them basketball watch. See now, them KD sixes was a fashion statement. There's only one basket. There's only one basketball shoe that like people can actually wear around, and that's Jordans. Nah, I brought them KD sixes, bro. Oh nah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. We was wearing, bro, 2014, 15, KD sixes with the double Nike socks, and and Kobe eights. Dude, that dick's gotta be huge. Hey yo, this man. <laughs> I'll be shocked if I would watch it back and everything, everything Bro, these you said is still in there. You said Kobe's? Yeah. No, yeah, these are tough. I never wear that on the street. Yeah, we wearing them shits on the street, bro. Bro, what the KDs I wanted the Grinches so bad. The Grinches were tough. No, they weren't. Yeah, oh, what did my teammate have them? He had them on like... Like track shoes converted? No. Just for fun? Yeah. That's crazy. Those sell for so high now. Bro, he had them. I think he sells shoes. He got reps. Those are reps for sure. I don't know. Bro, be getting too. I'm exposing, bro. Bro, what y'all think about the fucking alien shit uh, in Miami? Can't be real. I, I'm just not buying it, bro, because there was a hundred cop cars out there and no video. <laughs> no video of the alien. So, yeah, I can't buy it. Like, uh, And dude. the story is actually believable because... A cop, I saw a cop video and he was in his car saying the reason why there are so much cops is because ki juveniles were throwing fireworks at innocent people. That's enough to get a whole cop like peep thing. But no, hell no. Like, you don't think that's enough? A hundred cars? Like those cars was lined up like they were, they were about to go to war or something. So you think something like actually like behind the scenes happened? They're just not saying what it is. I think they were having like a cop convention or something out there, but <laughs> yeah. there was. Right, <laughs> alien is crazy. Like there's no video, so yeah, I believe with my eyes. What I'm saying, yeah, I believe with my eyes tell me, and they it wasn't telling me there was no alien out there. I think I don't know. I might just be typical American, but I genuinely just think that there's juveniles throwing fireworks at innocent people, and they were on the run, and that's why there are so much cops. That I, I would rather believe that than alien. That's like the, yeah, that's so. like the believable story. Yeah. Yeah, and bro, it was just too many. It was too many cars out there, and just too many like random bystander people out there for it to be no video. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Shit's whack, bro. Do you think aliens exist? Um, yeah. Um, well, it depends. 
I know there's like extraterrestrial um, things out there, or objects out there. Yeah. Because I know people who, well, who've worked at the Pentagon, and there's like um, classified and like declassified things, and they like study them. But oh, it's not the big head, big eyes. Yeah, things that like we see on TV. Hell no. So I mean, if that if you just consider like extraterrestrial um, beings, aliens, then yeah, that there there definitely are aliens. But it's if you see one, you would not identify his ass because it's not the big head, long, skinny body nigga that you be seeing. Yeah. On cartoons if, and stuff like that. If aliens exist, they look nothing like we think. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, they do exist. Yeah. I, I agree. I, th- I think aliens exist. I think there is some creature. I wouldn't necessarily say they're aliens, but I think there's some creature on a, on like Jupiter or Uranus or some shit like that. Man, no, there's some on Earth. There's got to be some. Bro, because you got to think. The, the things that they call aliens is just anything unidentified. Like, they catch, like, fish and stuff in the water all the time. It's, like, unidentified, like... Yeah. Um, so they make a name for it. Objects. So yeah. they're they're, like... According to the government, they're aliens. Yeah. And if you think about it, how, how, how many percent of the ocean has been discovered? Oh, yeah. A like slim percent. Like, not, I don't even think percent. 10%. Yeah. So, like, who yeah. knows? There could be some, you know. There's some. There's got to be there's, some, there's like, more, fucking from off. Like, some of them. Bro, it, it's like crazy stuff in the, in the water. <sighs> Things that you wouldn't even know existed, like that one fish with like the little light on his head. Oh, I thought that was just like something yeah. like from Nemo, like those things. No, it's actually SpongeBob. Exist. It was SpongeBob. Bro, it was on both. Yeah, it, it was. was? Yeah. Damn. You, you didn't see the Nemo? Uh, I am. Like that's where I first saw it. But yeah, bro, it's um, those actually exist. Like the fish with the light on his head. Damn, bro. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. I would never know submarine. Yeah, submarine is crazy. Bro, I was thinking about this. Like, back to the alien thing. I was thinking, so space is unlimited. Space right. can go on for unlimited. Mm-hmm. Imagine how much universes are out there and how much Earths, like replica replica Earths are like out there. There's a... True. Oh, wait, no. It's not really a, rep, it's not really a replica. But there's like a planet called like Kepler or something. Kepler 16. I, I forgot what it is. In like a different but, universe? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's in a different universe, but it's like millions of light years away. Yeah. Basically, that's like it's like if humans were to live on another planet, it'd be that planet right there, Kepler. Well, the, uh, you and it's, about, it's probably like so many of those too. Yeah. yeah. Do you think about how much universes are out there that are confirmed? Not even the ones that are unconfirmed, but the ones that are confirmed. There's so much. There's probably there's probably universe out there where all the planets have like human existence. Yeah. You gotta be thinking humans probably like. They probably have a different type of human <clears> over there. Yeah. Like, they can evolve to anything over there. Like, English isn't a thing. You gotta realize English isn't a thing for anything else. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Like, English isn't even a thing to them. They have their own languages. They have their own people involved in their own things. Yeah, like, your people just... Even if you just look on Earth and, like, the different continents, like, there's people just living so different just here. So just imagine a completely different country. Like, there's people in Indonesia... They like live yeah. in a jungle and like they live there. Like, they're like families, just like one big, huge family of people. And they like live in a jungle. They don't have technology. They and they just living out there. No cap. And then it low key like seems like a dope life too. Cause minus like getting bit by mosquitoes and ants and shit. But other <laughs> than that, like, bro, you don't have to worry about taxes and Facts. Stuff like that, like you catch your own food, you eat your own food. They do the right re- their regular stuff is fishing for food and doing all that crazy shit, and they think it's normal. They come over here and they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, we're over here. We weak, bro. We we can go to McDonald's. You want some McDonald's? We weak, bro. What is McDonald's? What is McDonald's? <laughs> Facts. All these inventors, Thomas yeah. Thomas Edison. Like, there is no light bulbs. There is no... Yeah. Like, who do they have? Like, who are the inventors on those planets? Like, what innovations do they have over there? And, yeah, there's some universities out there that are probably way, way, way more experienced than us and have, like, flying cars. E- cars might not even be a thing on some planets. Right. Like, there is nobody... Like, the Ford dude, uh, Henry Ford, 
he didn't exist, so they like, they, don't know, they don't know about cars. Exactly. They riding on um, horseback, floating, floating water bottles, and floating water bottles, stuff <laughs> like that. Oh my god! Magic carpets. Magic carpets. Hoverboards. They got that all over there. Facts. They got hoverboards, but not cars. Hey, universes are universes, bro. That's true. What is the wildest high school or just like school other than college like story? The wildest story? Oh. I wanted to have a story that involves with me and you. Y'all can go first. All right, man. Oh, I, I'm gonna just say a simple one real quick. So I always, always used to fuck with him. Oh. So um, this is like one of the first time me and him ever like talked ever uh we had seventh grade gym together and um first semester seventh grade um we're, we're we do like uh there's like one week we'll do a sp one sport the next week we'll do a different sport mm -hmm. this week we were doing boxing mm. and um i didn't have anyone to hold the pads for me because we were doing someone was holding the pads and someone was hitting it and I just looked, because me and him, would, I'd always fuck with him. I was like, dude, let's do boxing. Let's do boxing. And um, all of a sudden, you know, he's holding the pads for me, and I just fucking go, what? Way to his face. Damn. <laughs> it wasn't hard. Uh, let me, let me, it wasn't hard, but I, like, bumped him enough where it's like, like that. And he was, like, chasing me, and the teacher was like, what are you guys doing? Stop it. Oh my god. And then we used to, when we would do like, uh, we'd always warm up before we did the sports, so we'd run around the gym. And me and him would always play like tag or some shit while we were doing it. And the teacher would always be like, What are you, do what are you doing? Stop it. In uh, middle school, my friend, so there was like a, this, this is when the vaping epidemic was going on. Like, we, it first started in seventh grade. So I remember one guy came to school with like a box mod. Big ass box mod. That's how that's how it like started and shit. And um and it was he'd bring it out, he pull it out in the locker room. Oh my god, it was crazy. He was showing everyone, wasn't afraid of the consequences. Mm -hmm. Hitting it. And um some guy, oh my god. Some guy uh put it in a locker and put his lock on it and told told him he was gonna snitch on him. He put it in his Snitch locker and locked it in there and said, I'm going to tell someone. He threatened to beat his ass, so he unlocked it for him. And right when he reached to go get the vape, he slammed the locker on his hand. Crazy. He slammed the locker on his hand, his pinky bursted open stitches, like Damn. blood everywhere, squirting. I was like, bro. Oh, my God. He He's walking up, he's walking to go to the nurse. He had to explain everything to him. Got the vape taken away. Got ISS, OSS, everything, bro. You witnessed all of it? Yeah, I witnessed all of it. That was crazy. That was probably the craziest middle school story I've ever experienced. Hey. What about you? Uh, oh, I, I don't even want to mention their name. But I did, I'm not gonna mention the name either. All right, but uh, you remember uh, it was at the fair, and oh god, you know who would you know who and her boyfriend? And oh her my god! Meet. So yes, we had bro. a so we had a so we had a little roast session, like I think two weeks before, and so if let me refresh memory. So yeah. this girl that he's talking about was a good friend of mine at the time, and was like frenemies with Janoop. so they were like. They weren't like friends, but they weren't, and they were like friends and enemies at the same time. And, um, dude, they used to like, Janoop always loved, like this was, you know, like when at the lunch table, whoever had like the best roast, mm -hmm. this was the roaster. He was the one Same. doing the roasting. Same. So, um, he did it to this girl one day, just out of nowhere. And, uh, well, she, I, I don't know if it was out of nowhere. I think she said something. She said something like weird. She said something too she said, weird. she said something weird. I forgot what it was. Yeah. And he clapped back. And then it just started that whole session. Exactly. And then, so, Damn. he caught her lacking at the fair. 
right? And you can go, you can go from here. I just wanted to tell them the base uh, of the story. Okay, so, all right. So she she actually caught me, or actually she, she actually caught to me, caught it to me. Oh no no no. So before before we got to the fair, she we were having like a little role session, and she was you know she was texting him telling them what I was saying. Yeah. Um, and all that all, all that hoopla, and then boom. We get to the fair. I did not expect. I did not expect to see her. I expected to have fun at the fair. And then she pulled up with her boyfriend, and she was like, and she was just pressing me. She was just like, "Come on, roast me. Do it right now. Do it." And her boyfriend's right there, just watching, yeah. <laughs> waiting for me to say something. And for me, I didn't want to fight anybody that day. I just wanted to have fun at the fair, so I just backed up. I was just backing down. I'm just like, "No, I'm not saying nothing." Well, okay, blah, blah, blah. Bitches, even back then in middle school, bitches were whack. They they were <laughs> they were saying they were telling the dude to roast him, roast me, knowing damn well if he said a word, his her boyfriend would have just started swinging. Yeah, I'm like, so what do you want? Do you what's what's the end that you want this? You want your boyfriend to get into a fight, get his ass beat? Because I know this dude has hands. Like he don't want to fight no one, bro. What I'm saying, you're gonna get your boyfriend's ass beat. Right in front of you. Bitches want their boyfriend to ask people. I'm not going to lie. One thing about a girl, a girl will always feel like their boyfriend cannot lose a fight. No cap, bro. And bro, it's like delusion. The whole time the boyfriend be like, damn, bitch, you really going to get me beat up. <laughs> I'd be knowing I'd be knowing that I can hold my own in a fight and i still be telling like the girl I'm talking, hey, I can't fight. Just so they know. Just so they know, I'm like, I don't want to be in a fight, bro. Now I'd be telling, I'd be telling them like, Bro, I be telling girls like, like I'm a loser, just so I can see if they stay with me. No, they can tell. Like it's not a thing that you can like. Yeah. Just say and then. Cause they've never left me at the end of the day. Cause like I'm not gonna lie, most girls like losers. In a way, yeah. Cause yeah. based on what I've seen on the internet, today's females. Yeah, bro. I can't say too much, but losers, bro. It's, it's crazy. What's your craziest high school story? Mm-hmm. Like, cool. I'm gonna take you back to middle school because that's when I was spazzing. I probably got suspended like 15 times in middle school. <laughs> For fun? Nah, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna lie though. A few times that is what it was for. But, um, no, this one time I was like so much advanced in middle school. I went to like this one school, it was like a private school, but it wasn't a private school. Yeah. We had to wear like suits and shit to school every day. And it was all boys as well. So we're all boys school, so we have nothing else to do but be smart because we're smart as fuck. And all of my friends now, like, like that I have that I didn't meet in college, they're from middle school. Type shit. Like high school, I don't really. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like I um I was there. We we're like super smart. We we're like taking college classes in middle school. Dang. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Opposite of me, bro. <laughs> and um. I created a website when I was in seventh grade. I bought the domain and everything. And it was, um, cause I was like, I was, I was always big. I was making skits when I was back then. I, yeah. had, like, I had like 10,000 followers on Instagram. Dang. That shit. And people, I made a, I made this website. It's called get followers dot, like dot net, I think. Oh my God. I can't even know what this means. And bro, you, um, so on the, on the website, I, I was had, scamming as a youngin. Bro, I had um, <laughs> I put like the regular like Instagram login page. I made it look oh like that. Oh my god! On the, and I, I um on the next page it was like put how many followers you want. Like it's like zero to like a hundred thousand. Did you make him put the password? Yeah, you oh. put the, you put the username and the password, and as soon as you press submit, it like sends it straight to my email. <laughs> and I was I was um sending it to the people I went to school with. And I was like, yeah, bro, if you want followers, that's all you have to do. Like, this is what I did. <laughs> and they like, they see my videos blowing up and I'm like getting hella views. But I'm like, yeah, bro, this is what I did. But everybody wanted followers. Like, everybody wanted clout and attention. So they were doing it. And then I, I remember I got called to the principal office one day. I said, when I first got to school. And one of my friends, he was sitting there too. I said, damn, bro, what would we get called out of class for? He's, yeah. like, he's like, bro, I have no clue. I was like, all right. So the Prince Week comes in like an hour later. I used to always have to sit and wait on him for a long time. Yeah. And we could never just get straight to the punishment type shit. Exactly. 
But um, my friend, his name, well, fuck that nigga. His name was Uriah. And he, um, yeah, we were just sitting in the office. And then me and him, we just don't know why we're in there. Yep. I, that's what I thought. And the principal called us in there. He said, Mr. Brown, uh, Uriah say that you hacked his Instagram. I just thought in my head, no fucking way. <sighs> he just, <laughs> bro, he was like, you know, that's a crime, right? A crime is crazy. I was like, well, I'm in seventh grade, so I just don't know no better. It's like, yeah, it's a cyber crime. He's ever gonna call my buddy at the cyber unit for the FBI. So he what like the, put the he put like put the office phone on speaker and called him like dialed the number. He's like, I'm gonna have him come pick you up and take you out of handcuffs. You just that? Yes, bro. Did you actually get put in handcuffs? Bro, let me tell you. He called him. Me and Uriah sitting in the office, and um, and he dialed the number. It's ringing, and then that bitch said, "Please leave your message for." I was like, "Yes." <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, he didn't answer, so I, he was like, "You got lucky." But I got suspended. But I used to get suspended all the time in middle school, so it was like, <laughs> "Yeah, there's nothing there." Yeah, but I just could not believe that he sat in there and played like he didn't know why we were in there. And the whole dude, time, yeah, no, I was finna say, he stole me. I was like, "What the fuck?" I don't know why we in here, bro. <laughs> bro, that was like the craziest thing ever. Like, mm. like, bro, we're sitting like this far apart, and we're just in there. We're talking the whole entire time, like waiting for the principal to go. <laughs> Like an hour or some change. Bro was the ultimate actor. Yeah, ain't gonna lie. He put on a show that day. He put on a show. It's crazy. No cap, bro. All right, well. Did you fight him? Bro, I didn't. Oh. I wanted still, to, though. I'm still trying to fight, bro, to this day. <laughs> One of my friends had fought him, though, like, 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 two, years, like, two, no, like two years ago. Just because uh-huh. he's, like, still doing the same shit for my like, seventh grade. Like, Bro, still it's snitching crazy. and all types of shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's wild. Like, you didn't grow out of that shit. That shit wasn't a phase. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up there. It's uh, right under an hour. Right where I wanted it to be. So, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Yes, sir. And Juno. Junik. Junik. Jacob. Jacob. Uh, Jiffy Lube over here. Crazy. <laughs> all right, bro. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.